Welcome back to Drive World. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a part two of the tier list video. And it's going to be all the Japan races. The first race we have is Anaka Street Circuit. This is a pretty basic city race, which doesn't have really any good factors to it. And for that, I'm going to put it above drag and I'll do it when I'm bored. And the next race we have is Saishin Rally. This is one of the better races to Japan as it involves dirt, roads, and windy turns. And then on the straights, it even has some big open areas that show off the beautiful mountains in the background. And this race actually feels more like a Round Japan than the actual Round Japan race. And for this, I'm gonna put it above river jumps and I'd vote for it. Moving on to the next race, we have Takashi Rally Cross. This race is probably the best you could get out of a dirt circuit. This race in lower restrictions also works great. And with how rough the ground is, it can really randomize this race. And I wish that a lot of the other races were able to copy this style as this race is just perfect for the game. And for now, I'm going to put it as the second best race in the game and best of the best above Park Rally. Moving on to the next race, we have the other drag strip, which is basically exactly the same, but I think it's worse as it's more open and there isn't much stuff around it. And now on to the next race, we have Around Japan. This race has some pretty cool scenery, but other than that, the line isn't that great for it. And once you've done this race once, you don't need to do it again. Especially as it's so long that it can't even make it into the race voting. It just doesn't make sense to really have this in the game. And for this, I'm going to put it above the other around the world map as I think it's better, but it still needs some work and then it could probably make it up higher. What also makes this race pretty bad is that a lot of the tunnels are really repetitive. Moving on to the next race, we have Kikikisa Downhill. The line on this race is pretty cool, but it doesn't really make sense as a race as it's for drifting and drifting and racing in this game just doesn't work together. And a lot of scenery in this race just isn't that great. And a few of the turns are kind of weird going from drifting corner to drifting corner. So I'm going to put it above Sandy Sprint at I mean, it's all right. The next race we have is Inisharu Downhill. This race is better than the one before this. And on top of this, I like the line off the start more than the other one. And on top of this, it even adds some straight roads in the middle of it. And towards the end, it adds this pretty cool tunnel and a unique turn at the end. So I'll put this above the desert races because I think it's better than that, but not better than hill climb. The next race we have is Kero Toge. And this race is basically just like the last two races I just talked about, but on steroids. But this race is actually pretty fun. And doing it in lower restrictions, it's pretty competitive. And if you end up messing up one turn, there's a high likelihood that someone else messes up the next turn and you can end up catching up. And for how fun this race actually is, I'm going to put it above River Jump. On to the next race, we have Yama Street Circuit. I actually think that this race is underrated. When I first did this race, I didn't really enjoy it, but doing it again, it's actually really fun. And I like how complex it is to try and get through these buildings. And my best time on this track is 39.682. Let me know down in the comments if you've gotten any time better than this. And for this, I think I'm going to put it at the top of I'd vote for it. It's really, it's a really hard choice. I kind of want to put it in the best of the best, but I don't think it's there yet. Moving on to the next race, we have Pillar Circuit. Overall, this is my favorite race in all of Japan. Although it's not my favorite race line, it's definitely the best looking and I just love how unique it feels. So I'm going to have to put it at the second best race in the game. Now on to the next race. And now I'm going to speed through some of the races. First off, we have School Scramble. This race is pretty average. I would put it above Downtown Circuit. The next one we have is Midnight Circuit. This race is also pretty bad, but it's a little bit better. So I'd put it above Sandy Sprint. The next one is Hurricane Circuit. This race is pretty average. Uh, it's the first race circuit Japan, but I don't really like it that much. So I would put it above Grand Prix and I mean, it's all right. And the last one I'll do in this fast firing round is Tori Trouble. And I'll put this one in and I'll do it when I'm bored, just above Tunnel Sprint. All right, and now let's uh, calm down a little bit. We have four more races left. And these are some pretty controversial ones. The first one we have is Choyaku Rush.
I think that this race is also underrated and it's basically like a better in the heights. The only thing I'd wish to change about this is having it as two laps instead of three. As doing it in three laps, it gets kind of repetitive. And for this, I'm gonna put it in the best of the best right behind Takashi Rallycross. If it had two laps, it would probably be above that. Now on to my favorite feeling race in the game, it's interchange sprint. I really like how tight all of the corners are in this race and how precise you have to be to be able to set a good time on this race. And for this, I'm gonna set it above Takashi Rally Cross. And now on to the most controversial race in the game, it's Scenic Route Trail. This is a lot of people's favorite race, but in my opinion, I don't think that this race is that special. It seems pretty similar to races like Tunnel Sprint, but it is still better than some races, so I'll put it at the top of I'll do it when I'm bored. Now moving on to the last and final race, we have Taifu Circuit. This race is definitely better than the other race circuit in this map, and I love how much the sand changes this track. And this is another thing which completely changes how this race feels over every other race in the game. And for this, I'm gonna put it in, I'd vote for it, almost in best of the best like Yama Street Circuit, but it's not better than Yama Street Circuit or these other races in the best of the best. And with that being said, this is the end of my tier list. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this, and I'll see you in the next video. And for anyone still watching, if you put in code Candy Talk, you'll get a free wrap, which looks like this. It's a pretty cool design, and in my opinion, it kind of looks like rain on the car. So there's some pretty cool ideas you can use with this wrap.